Brett, I have to say, I'm really looking forward to trying this bike. Yeah, I'm looking forward to you trying this bike. Too. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brett from the New Wheel Electric Bike Shop in San Francisco and Larkspur. And I am Karin. And we are here today with the brand new Riesen Muller Roadster from Germany. Now, we got this bike. It was hot off the press, brand new bike uh, from their production line. Tell me, like if I was to close my eyes, paint a picture. It has all the sort of solidness of a Riesen Muller mm -hmm. and sturdiness, but it's very, very light. They've slimmed it down considerably. It's really quick handling. You can ride it without any assist or very low assist. It's a super spry, quick handling city bike and it's designed you know, in a traditional frame style. The lines are just really distinct and clear and it's just fun to ride. Visually, it's striking. When you walk with it, when you just handle, the agility of the bike is really like, it's, it's light. It just works perfectly for urban riding where you're sort of you know, you're, you gotta be nimble, you gotta get around things, um, and you want something light. So this is a bike that you can totally stick on your shoulder and climb it up a flight of stairs. So, you know, this last weekend, uh, you know, 36 mile ride around the Bay Area, basically, or San Francisco and Marin. Low assist, rides really well. Uh, high assist, rocket ship, and battery life was fantastic. This has the 625 watt, watt hour battery. So we did, you know, 36 miles around the Bay Area, lots of hill, I think it was 1400 feet of climbing. Um, total, I think we had what 30% battery left at the end. Yeah, you said you had about 30. This is a lightweight bike with a with the same powerful motor that you would find on a bike that's like 20 pounds heavier. That combination is rocket ship. If you want the lightest weight, uh, most nimble and fast version of the Roadster, I would go with the Touring High Speed version. The Touring drivetrain has the highest efficiency. Uh, so you don't lose any power in the drivetrain and it's quick it's quick shifting and uh, the high speed motor is just going to get you up to 28 miles per hour there's also the option of enviolo which is a carbon belt drive internally geared hub with no indexed shifting so very simple to use you can shift when you're stopped super low maintenance and then you combine that with either a performance line speed or a performance line cx there's two battery options so you can choose either a 500 watt hour battery or a 625 watt hour battery i think most people are going to opt for 625 500 is a little lighter weight on the high speed version you have brake lights and the m99 super high lumen light with high beam and low beam. Can I say, such a key feature. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Love it. On the standard version, non-high speed, it's the Supernova mini light and standard non-brake light lights. Across the board on all bikes, you have a four piston Magura hydraulic brake in the front. Um, you've got 700C wheels, so really easy pedaling. Um, you've got G1 tires and then kickstand, of course, fenders, of course, Really nice front suspension um, from Suntour. In terms of frame styles, there's two. This the Mixty, is, yeah, which the is mix, the most important one. Yeah, Mixty's great. <laughs> uh, and then there's the standard frame style. Three frame sizes on the standard, two on the Mixty. Mm -hmm. They have a new uh, horn and light button setup. And it's just easy to access, high beam, low beam, and your, your beeper. It's got a little, a sportier grip from Ergon. It just, you know, feels like you can, you know, control the bike really nicely on it. It's not as much of a leisure grip. It's got a really nice Shimano shifting unit for the 11 speed drivetrain. The bike comes standard with MDRC rotors from Magura, which are their new e-bike specific designed rotors that are thicker and longer wearing and have just a, a beefier overall design um, that are really oriented towards people who ride hard, ride a lot, and don't want to spend all their time in a bike shop. There's a, there are a variety of kind of setup options on this bike. Let's start with carrying stuff. Yeah, there's two ways to go. You can choose to have a rear rack, or you can choose to have a front rack, or you can choose to have both. 
This is the uh, sort of standard handlebar setup, which is a little bit more aggressive, but it's got a comfort package as well, which will get you a handlebar that's a little bit more swept back um, to give you a nice angle on your wrists if you have any discomfort there, um, bring you a little bit more upright, and then um, some suspension in the seat post. Yeah, you have three display options. So there's the Purion, which is the smallest um, black and white display on the left-hand side. There's the smartphone hub, which makes a lot of sense for an urban bike like this, um, which will charge your phone and also give you all the information on your phone about the bike and uh, speed and assist level and maps. Um, and then there's the neon display. It's a big, really stunning color display that has maps. It has a lot more data. Um, I think it looks really, really good on this, on this bike. I know we have customers with 10, 14,000 miles on their bikes. Um, and that's really saying something, that it is a bike that really stands up to time, really stands up to heavy use, and will be a good old friend, right? Well, the thing is, with a lightweight frame, you know, you there's so many ways to compromise. The skill is in building a lightweight bike without the compromises. Yes. So I mean, they're, they're, they're built from the perspective of a need to last. Yeah. Like, these guys, are, there were, you know, the career path was like auto engineer, bike engineer. They chose to be bike engineers and they do it from the perspective of this should be as serious as a, as a car. I mean, one of the things that I often notice on lighter weight bikes when I test ride them is that sometimes they feel really squirrely when you're going fast. Mm -hmm. And of course, like, as an e-bike rider, one of the things I dig the most is just going really fast. It's just really fun. I think that what is really choice about this bike and this setup is the combination of the frame design being like a, a highly engineered Riesa Muller design that's going to give you control and stability and the four piston brakes and, you know, tires that are super grippy and designed for this sort of use means that when you get up to speed, you're still really uh, performing with control. So if you are interested in taking the Roadster out for a spin, we've got stores in Larkspur, in Marin County, and in San Francisco. You can schedule a test ride at newwheel.net slash ride. We're stoked to get you on it. Perfect bike for those looking for a quick, nimble city bike. With a ride to the country. Country riding, too. When you feel like it. When you feel like it. <laughs> when the day is done. <laughs> Thanks for watching.